The following program was produced or sponsored by a community member. The content, views, and opinions expressed are the sole responsibility of the producer and do not reflect those of Malden Access Television, the City of Malden, or your cable provider. MATV welcomes your comments. Please call us at 781-321-6400 or email us at access at matv.org. Welcome to game two of this triple header on this Saturday afternoon here at the Fairway School here in Malden, Massachusetts. We've got game two between the Sixers and the Kings. Both teams before the game has started have been called for technical fouls for players not in uniform. So each team is going to start shooting technical free throws before the game even starts for the Sixers, Shai Cohen, their best free throw shooter, just hit two free throws for the Sixers. And now the Kings will send their own top free throw shooter to the line, Dominique Bono, for two shots. The Kings and the Sixers are each two and five coming into this game. Last week the Kings fell in overtime to the Bullets 67 to 61 and the Sixers last week fell to the Pistons 42 to 31. And these two teams looking to turn things around for the Kings. A tough loss last time out. They've got Jason Crocker averaging 20.2 points per game. The third leading scorer in the league. And the tip is won by the Kings. And there goes Crocker who misses that shot. Rebounded by the Sixers. Anthony Byers controls for the Sixers. Cohen, no good. Rebound. Bodies on the ground and a jump ball. For the Sixers, number three, Edgar Rios. And for the Kings, number seven, Jaden Brito White. And the Kings win the tip. Bono goes at the basket, bank shot, no good. Got his own rebound and then got fouled. Dominic Bono, who split his free throws. First foul of the game there. As Bono comes in this game, a 62.5% free throw shooter among the best marks in the league. And the second is good. Sixers control. Anthony Byers with the ball, averaging eight and a half points per game. Good pass down low to Cohen, rejected! What a block, that's worldly. Raphael with a big block for the Kings. Good interior defense as Jascar Mendez gets rid of that ball. And Guy Nami angling his body in the air. Worldly Raphael gets called for his first foul after a spectacular rejection going up strong and getting all ball. Meanwhile, Nami misses the first. 
Guy Nami, averaging 5.3 points a game, just a 29.4% free throw shooter. And he misses both. Back the other way, the Kings score. Jason Crocker for two. Showing early on why he's one of the top scorers in this league. Sammy Solars. Solarzano, one of the top scorers as well in this league, and he has the ball on the fast break now. Flips up a layup and drops it in. Sammy Solarzano averaging 15.7 points per game coming into this week. That's good for the eighth best average in the league. Nami, a slow walk to the hoop for two. And here comes Crocker. The jump shot, no. And the ball will last be touched by the Kings. Sixers ball. And here come the Sixers. Cohen nearly lost it. A three from Nami. Back iron miss. Rebound tracked down by Byers. Poked away and stolen. And a layup the other way for Crocker. And another bucket for the Kings as they lead early eight to four. Cohen to Byers. Nami driving baseline. Shot is short. Got his own miss. Back up, no good. Cohen again. No. Nami again. And the finish, no good. As Nami's put back, rolled out. Worldly Raphael picks up his second foul early. And the Kings will need to make some switches. But great offensive tenacity on the glass for the Sixers. And the friendly bounce for Nami goes as Rafael will take a seat with two early fouls. He'll be replaced by number 20, Hozu Flores. And the Kings take it the other way after the made free throws from Nami. A three is up and in. Sammy Solorzano drains a three. And back come the Kings. They lead by five. Pass deflected. Last touched by the Sixers, and it's King's ball. And Solorzano controls, calling out screens. Driving to his left, he lost the ball. A back out to Bono, a three is missed. Crocker, and he will earn a trip to the free throw line. Anthony Byers picks up his first personal. And Jason Crocker going to the free throw line. Where he's a 43.8% shooter on the season. Misses the first. He's averaging 20.2 points per game. He comes into this game with 13 threes made as he misses the second. And that ball was last touched by the Kings. Sixers ball. Crocker has hit 13 threes in six games. Trailing the Bullets, Christian Mullane and the Hawks. Yusuf Karani on that list. The Hawks and the Bullets with a nail biter in the first of our two games. 
Solorzano with left hand. Scoop shot is up and in. Sammy Solorzano leading the Kings early in points. And that ball poked loose. Solorzano dives for it. And he hit Byers down low. And it's going to be Sixers ball. And Anthony Byers needing a second after going low. Solorzano dove for that ball and accidentally hit the legs of Byers. Byers averaging eight and a half points per game. In the corner there's Mendez. Solorzano comes up with a steal. And he throws it down the court. But Crockett gets beat by Nami. Nami angles and misses. Gets his own rebound. Taken from him by Bono. Back to Byers. Up and in and bakes it in. Anthony Byers comes up with the loose ball somehow. And he gets his first points of the game with about two minutes remaining in the opening quarter. Solorzano down low. A great feed inside, but a miss by Flores. And the Sixers will call for time. A great pass by Sammy Solorzano to Flores, although he was just able to miss a little too strong on that shot. Once again, this is game two of our triple header. We've got Celtics Lakers coming up next. And the Hawks and the Bullets preceded this game, a nail biting back and forth game before the Hawks hit a shot, the buzzer, Andy Nguyen. Off a deflection, the ball ends up in his hands and he buries a shot at the buzzer as the Hawks beat the Bullets 44 to 43. A tad bit of controversy because they got the rebound prior to calling a timeout off of a free throw, a missed Bullets free throw. They dribbled a couple times before calling timeout. The Bullets argued they should have inbounded the backcourt, but they inbounded the front court and allowed the Hawks to get a good look. And if that game is any indication of what's to come, then Sixers-Kings should be a good one as a quick trigger shot from the Sixers' Edgar Rios is no good. Byers to Nami, and he is fouled. Solorzano, the guilty party. And that's Solorzano's first. Byers dribbles into a three and calmly hits Anthony Byers for three and the Sixers are back within two. And Jason Crocker nearly caught that ball in the backcourt which would have been a turnover. Playing catch with Solorzano. And he's looking for Flores, but he mishandled that pass. A three on the way, no. Nami down the court, stolen by Solorzano. Up with the layup of the left hand, Sammy Solorzano. A couple of left-handed layups for the Kings. 40 seconds left in the opening quarter. Guy Nami back out Rios, misses, rebound tipped. Byers ends up with it. In the corner to Nami. Double clutches, misses, gets it back. It drips out. Nami again, loose ball. Ends up in the hands of Jason Crocker and he will glide all the way to the basket uncontested. Just seconds left. Byers calmly taking this ball across the timeline. He dribbles into a long three. And that will end the first quarter as I believe the basket that was hanging overhead 
Deflected that three-point attempt by Byers. The Kings lead by six, 17 to 11, at the end of the first quarter. As we get set to start the second quarter here between the Kings and the Sixers. Sammy Solorzano with a big first half for the Kings. Jason Crocker with some big buckets as well as the Sixers start the second quarter with possession. Gainami hoists up a deep shot and it's rebounded by Dominique Bono. Bono takes a bump and a foul. Joscar Mendez picks up his second personal foul. Seventeen sixteen. Crocker on the outside, step back three, no, wide left. Offensive rebound by Flores, back out Bono, and he misses a three. Byers controls the rebound. Nami to Cohen, as the Sixers almost threw that out of bounds. Nami puts up another shot, missed. And here comes Solorzano. And he lost the ball. And the Sixers have it. And Edgar Rios back out to Gainami and a timeout is called. Sixers called timeout with 8.35 to go in the second quarter. An early timeout. Just a minute 25 into the action here in the second quarter. Sixers will have the ball coming out of this timeout. Anthony Byers, as he has done for the most part in this game, bringing the ball up as that pass was low to Nami. Mendez on the outside, he gives it up. Inside pass to Rios, and that shot was short. Bono, forward pass. And a shot is up and in. Sammy Solorzano with a right-handed layup this time. He had a couple of left-handed layups early in the first quarter. And now the right-handed one showing his skill with both hands. 
as Mendez misses that shot. Rebound poked around as bodies hit the ground. And it was last touched by Dominique Bono. So the Sixers will keep possession. Nami wide open for three, no. Rebounded by the Kings, but thrown away and stolen by the Sixers. And Byers will get to work again. Goes to the paint and misses. Down the lane is Crockett. Jason Crocker for two. Byers, no good. Rebound, Cohen. And he gets fouled. And Shai Cohen, the Sixers' best free throw shooter, will be going to the free throw line. Cohen misses the first. Averaging 11.5 points per game coming into this this week's play. Jaden Brito White. And they're deliberating who the foul was called on. Josu Flores will be whistled for the foul. And Brito White will come in to replace him with Shai Cohen, a 63.3% free throw shooter at the line. The fourth best free throw shooter in the league. And here comes Solorzano with a bank shot. Sammy Solorzano. The Kings lead by 12, 23 to 11. And a lot of that is because of Solorzano. Byers for three. Short rim, rebound to Brito White. And here comes Dominic Bono. Solorzano, does he have another? Not that time, Cohen blocked it, but he got his own miss. Solorzano re-fires and hits again! Sammy Solorzano is feeling it today, folks. And the Sixers have nothing going for them right now. A block is called. And a Kings foul is going to be called against Solorzano. That's only his second. Kings making some subs. Kevin Cruz checks into the game for Guy Nami. Cohen, a quick inbound. Solzano comes away with the ball on a steal. Down the way to Crocker. And that layup drips off the rim. And Cruz comes away with the rebound. Byers nearly traveled. Here's Cohen, he's fouled. And more free throws coming for Shai Cohen. That foul is gonna go against Dominique Bono. That's his first. Shai Cohen before today's game with 33 free throw attempts on the season, good for 21 of them. And he nails the first. As a team, the Sixers just 40.7% from the charity stripe this season. Cohen splits the pair 26 to 12. And Solizano. And the ball ends up in the hands of Byers. And he nearly loses it, saves it to Crocker. Crocker nearly gets an acrobatic layup to drop. It was last touched by the Sixers and it will stay King's ball.
Crocker has gotten a few fast break opportunities as Solorzano has been able to find him multiple times by the basket. And a carrying violation is called as Crocker stopped his dribble for a second too long. And Byers will take it the other way for the Sixers. And a steal from Bono as he rips the ball and he misses the fast break layup. Back comes Byers, crossover, a good feed to Rios. No, Edgar Rios not able to hit that shot as we're approaching three minutes to go before the half. Crocker on the outside, a long three, no. Rebound by the Kings. The Sixers arguing that the ball should have gone out of bounds as Crocker steals it and finds his man, but he missed it again. Worldly Raphael with two missed layups right next to the basket. And Guy Nami will come back in for the Sixers. A wild sequence there as he will replace Edgar Rios. A shot from Cohen rolls out. Bono the other way. Here's Crocker. Crocker in traffic gets hit and he'll get fouled. And the foul will go against Sozu Flores. Or excuse me, on uh, number 20 on the Sixers, Shai Cohen. And with 2.21 to go, Jason Crocker at the free throw line. He makes the first. Once again, the third leading scorer in this league, averaging 20.2 points per game. One of only three players in this league doing that. And Crocker hits both. 28 to 12. This has been the Kings half. On the perimeter, Kevin Cruz and a jump ball as Bono is able to get tied up with him. So Dominic Bono and Kevin Cruz will tip off. And Bono wins the tip as Worldly Raphael Comes up with it, Crocker launches and misses the three. Nami has the rebound. But it's poked away by Crocker and he steals it and lays it in. They've gotta give Nami some more help in the backcourt as Jason Crocker has been living on those layups. Cohen rejected by Rafael. He's had two of those now. Bono. Solizano, catch and shoot three, no. Rebound, Rafael blocked by Cohen. Out of bounds with a minute 25 to go. 30 to 20 as the Kings are trying to close out a dominant first half. Cohen nearly had a steal. Solizano on the perimeter doing a dance. Crossover inside to Bono. Bono the layup, no. And Cruz gets the rebound. Up ahead to Byers. Byers with the right hand. And Anthony Byers hits it. Solizano, and he traveled with exactly a minute left as he was trying to get a foul called on him. Anthony Byers will use some clock. A quick catch and shoot three is up and in. Jaskar Mendez hits a three and it's a 13 point game. A big shot there for the Sixers as Byers gets the assist. 
And a foul away from the ball. They're gonna call that on the Sixers. Or excuse me. An off offensive foul called. Dominic Bono the foul with 33.3 seconds. The Sixers will call timeout. A bucket here on the final possession of the first half. We'll give this team a great opportunity to go into the half with some momentum. The first half has been all Kings who have not trailed at any point during this game. Once again, both teams were called for technical free throws before the game even started because each team had a player without their jersey on and Dominique Bono hit two free throws. Shai Cohen hitting free throws for the Sixers and it's a 30 to 17 game. Once again, we've got Celtics Lakers coming up at the conclusion of this one. This is game two of a triple header. The Hawks and the Bullets going down to the buzzer in the first one. And we'll see if the Sixers can get a bucket here, or get some points on the board before the half, and maybe make a push in the second half. As Cohen will let that roll to Byers. And he will pick up the ball now. Nami to Byers. Hangs in the air and the momentum of that ball rolled its way in. Anthony Byers with a big shot. Bono right back, gets it back for the Kings. And Bono flexing in the face of his defender. The Sixers wanting a technical free throw. Nami lost the ball. So Arzano's heave would not have counted. It did not get off before the buzzer. So the first half was definitely won by the Kings there as they have a double digit lead going into the locker room. Sammy Solorzano, a big first half. He was the one pacing the Kings throughout the first half. Jason Crocker had a couple of big layups in transition for the Kings as they were able to get some buckets in transition. Bono has been great for them too. On the other end for the Sixers, we've got Anthony Byers. He's been pacing this team, bringing the ball up the court. He's been getting a couple of baskets and his teammates involved. Guy Nami has been putting up a couple of big shots as well. Neither, not, not a lot of them have been able to fall, but some good shots and good possessions for the Sixers. We'll see how the second half wraps up, and we'll see if the Sixers can push their way back into this one. And we are back here at the Fairway School here in Malden, Massachusetts. 32 to 19, the Kings lead the Sixers as we get start, get ready to start the second half. Sammy Solorzano and Jason Crocker leading the charge for the Kings. Solorzano with 16 points, Crocker with 10. Meanwhile, Anthony Byers with nine to lead the Sixers as Shai Cohen misses that shot and the putback's no good. Crocker the other way now for the Kings. He stops, he hesitates, and he misses, and a foul. And the foul's gonna be called. Jason Crocker called for the foul. And the Sixers will go the other way. Crocker and Solorzano combining for 26 of the Kings' 32 points. Really carrying them so far in this one. Nami, he drives, kicks, fires a three, no. 
Sorzano down the other way to Crocker. Crocker feeds Bono. A nice feed by Crocker as he finds his teammate Dominic Bono for two. And he's got four. And a loose ball ends up in the hands of Byers. Byers to Nami, yes! And that shot is up and good. Down the other way comes Crocker. Bono, Sorzano. Sammy Sorzano lost that ball. Nami dives for it, a great hustle plan defense. Byers the other way, goes at two kings, and he got fouled. And that's going to go against Jason Crocker, his second foul. And both have occurred here in the early minutes of the third. Anthony Byers misses the first, just a 25% free throw shooter entering this week. Down the other way come the Kings. 34-22 as Byers hits the second. Crocker, Bono, and an offensive foul. And that's on Sammy Sorzano. That's three fouls on Sammy Sorzano. So the Sixers have gotten a couple of stops here. As they will try to get some momentum going here in the third. Byers has the ball taken away from Sorzano. And it was last touched by the Sixers. King's ball. Don't give up. Let's go. Bono controls up top for the Kings now. He gets a screen. Interior pass. Bono. The shot up from Flores, no good. And here goes Nami the other way. Nami, the Euro step, what a move in transition. Guy Nami makes this a 10 point game. And the Sixers are slowly chipping their way back in the game. Rafael nearly lost out of bounds, saves it to Solorzano. Crocker steps into a three. No. Rebound tipped. Rafael comes away with it. Bono. He lost it. Byers picks it up. The other way goes Byers, and he lays it in with the right hand, and it's an eight-point game. And the Kings will quickly call for time. 34 to 26. The Sixers are fighting their way right back into this ball game.
Jesus. Hey, we don't mind waiting. And we are back with the Kings holding on to an eight point lead as it stands right now. They've only scored two points here in the third. And Solorzano is cold to start this second half as he misses that shot. Nami, full head of steam the other way. And nobody stopping him. Guy Nami with another basket. And this is now a six point game. The Kings have let the Sixers right back in it. Byers and Nami trapping Crocker in the corner. Looking for somebody. And a whistle. And the Kings will call another timeout. And the Sixers applying the pressure everywhere as we got another timeout on the court. Thirty-four remaining in the third quarter for much of this game and the game before it there was only one referee calling the game and now there are two and Nami comes away with a steal right out of a timeout misses the shot puts it right back in and the Sixers are coming right back into this one Thirty-four to thirty. Crocker, no good again. And an offensive rebound to the Kings. Bono looking for someone. Bad pass stolen by the Sixers. Here comes Byers the other way. Byers with the right hand again. The Sixers are within two. What a comeback! As the Kings have gone cold. Crocker, and a three second violation is called and a turnover for the Kings. First call of that variety we've had today. And the Sixers have adjusted well at halftime. They saw something that worked. A three on the way, no. That three was missed by Josker Mendez who hit one in the first half. Bono misses that layup, the other end, misses another floater, saved by Rafael. And the Sixers go the other way. Pass to Byers, Byers for the tie, yes! And the Sixers have come all the way back to tie this game. Under three minutes to go in the third. The Kings have managed just two points here in the third. Crocker banks it in. He was looking for a foul, and the Kings finally get a shot to go down as they retake the lead. What a comeback, though, by the Sixers, who are down by as many as 15 as Nami misses. Put back again. That's Will John Baptiste, and after scoring just two points in the first half, he is erupted here in the second. 36 36. Crocker for three. No rebound. Bounced multiple times before ending up in the hands of the Kings. And now a steal the other way. Byers for the lead. And the Sixers are now in front. 
38-36, another turnover. Mendez nearly had it stolen, and Byers traveled. This game looked like a blowout, but the Sixers have not only fought their way back to tie it, they are now leading. Solzano. And the shot is no good. That would have been a big make. Sammy Solzano with 16 points all in the first half and with 91 seconds left in the third quarter. Solzano will go to the line. First team foul by the Sixers. They've been able to defend well without fouling. And Solzano cans the first free throw. A 50% free throw shooter coming into this one. Averaging 15.7 points per game, but already with 17. Byers, Bono blocked him, but a foul is gonna be called. Dominique Bono. That's his third personal. Anthony Byers will go to the free throw line with the Sixers leading by one. And before we get those free throws, the Sixers will call a timeout. A minute 23 to go in the third. The Sixers have climbed all the way back and now lead by one. Back here in the late minutes of the third quarter, a minute 23 left on the game clock for the third quarter. And the Sixers down big at halftime and late in the second quarter, they now lead by one, 38-37. The third quarter has been a big one for them. As Anthony Byers at the line for two, he misses the first. He had nine points in that first half. Byers splits the pair. 39-37, Sixers lead the Kings by two. And Solzano is fouled. Edgar Rios gets whistled for the personal foul. And the Kings will inbound. Bono thought about a three. Now will dribble out. Entry pass deflected. And he gets it back. Pass to Crocker. Good ball fake. And he banks in the clean look to tie the game once again at 39. And there's Will Jean Baptiste. And his pass is stolen. 
Bono the other way now. Bono! A foul is going to be called an offensive foul. And Bono not happy with that call. He pushed off with the offhand. The shot will not count with 40 seconds and counting left. And here's Byers. Shimming his way to the basket. Saved by Cohen. Solorzano with the ball. Up ahead to Crocker. And he lays it in for two. The Kings retake the lead in the waning seconds of the third. And the Sixers will attempt to hold for a final shot. Five seconds to work. Byers. Jean Baptiste for three. No. Put back by Cohen is missed. And the buzzer sounds, and that is the end of an exciting third quarter. The Kings lead the Sixers 41-39 with a quarter to go. And the fourth quarter underway here at the Fairway School here in Malden in game two of our triple header of Malden Neighborhood Basketball League play. And as we begin the fourth quarter, a foul called on the Sixers, Edgar Rios. 41-39, the Kings lead the Sixers as Byers with a steal. Nobody ahead of him, and he calmly lays it in. And we are tied once again. 41-41. Bono with a crossover. What a move as he sent his defender flying. But the Sixers still get the stop. Here goes Byers who spins into a shot attempt. And Rios loses the ball there. Sorzano in transition and he is fouled. That's on Edgar Rios, who had some good minutes defensively in the third quarter. And Kevin Cruz is back in the game as Rios will take a seat on the bench. Sorzano calling for some space. Ducks under a defender and banks it in. Sammy Sorzano with 19 points. Most of which in the first half. Only has scored three here in the second. Jean Baptiste with a bank shot. And again, we are tied. Sorzano. And the basket will not count. But a foul called on the Sixers. Hey, watch, 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 watch. 
That's going to be on Shai Cohen. Solzano, Crocker a deep one. No. Rebounded by Mendez. To Cruz. Byers. Inside of Cruz. And that shot was partially blocked by Worldly Raphael. And Cohen knocked that off of Raphael. And his inbound pass deflected. Saved by Cruz. And then it goes out of bounds. King's ball. Under seven minutes to play. Bono has his shot rejected by Cohen. And the save and the miss on the other end by the Kings. That's Jose. Ozu Flores, Cohen misses that layup. Another putback attempt is up and good. Joscar Mendez has five points now. After hitting a three in the first half. A deep shot from Crocker ends up in the hands of Byers. Down the other end, there's Anthony Byers with the left hand. And the Sixers lead by four. Bono the other way. Mendez pressuring him. Solorzano gets a screen up top and he will get fouled. Foul on Josker Mendez. And Bono trying to create some space on the baseline. Bodies hit the floor. Bono comes away with it. Passes it up to Flores and he missed it. And the Sixers will run some clock now. And Mendez is fouled on the drive and he'll shoot free throws. And the foul is going to be called on the Kings' worldly Raphael. And Mendez, no good on the free throw. Just an 11.1% shooter from the free throw line. Flores will head to the bench. And Jaden Brito White. Back in for the Sixers. Mendez hits the second to give him six, a big free throw. A five point lead for the Sixers. And Bono missing a putback. Try to get a rebound, and it was last touched by the Kings. And the Sixers are in control right now. A whistle and a timeout with 4.20 to go in the fourth. 48-43, Sixers lead by five. Softball, it's basketball. Well, Shy, you're good. Don't worry. 
Shai Cohen brings up the ball now as we are back underway with the Sixers and the Kings. And the Kings, they were leading for the majority of the first half, had a dominant lead going into the third quarter as Cohen with an and one opportunity. Flips up a layup and in. And Worldly Raphael called for the foul. Shai Cohen with a big bucket there. And an add one opportunity with four minutes to play. And Cohen, the best free throw shooter on the Sixers, converts the and one. And now the Sixers lead 51-43. Crocker's shot blocked. Under four minutes to play, 51-43. And the Sixers lead by eight, and a foul was called on that drive as Crocker will head to the free throw line where he's a 43.8% shooter coming into this week. He misses the first. No good. The Sixers come away with the rebound. A screen up top. Byers doubled. A pass stolen. Sixers recover. Pass back to Cohen. Byers missed it. And another foul is going to be called. That's a foul on Raphael. And Worldly Raphael, that's his fifth foul. He is fouled out of the game. And in for the Kings is Jose Flores. Three and a half minutes remain. And Shai Cohen is back at the free throw line. And he makes the first on a one and one. And Cohen able to hit both. Now a 10 point lead. The largest lead of the game for the Sixers, and what a turnaround it has been. And a traveling violation is gonna be called against the Sixers, so they quickly turn the ball over back to the Kings. Here's Crocker, his shot is short. Mendez the rebound, down the court to Byers. Byers, reverse layup, just fell off. And the Kings go the other way, and a steal the other way as two Sixers collide. And a whistle and a carrying violation. And Anthony Byers took a bit of a hit. We'll need a breather. 2.57 remaining on the game clock. As Byers will be subbed out at a critical point in the game. As Sammy Solzano controls for the Kings. He hoists up a three and misses. Bono, not on that putback. He tries for another and he will be fouled. And the foul is going to be called on Kevin Cruz on the Sixers. 2.45 left in the fourth quarter. And Dominique Bono, the best free throw shooter on the Kings at 62.5%, will try to cut this double digit deficit. And he misses the first, gets his own rebound. And his putback was too strong. 
And the Sixers will slow it down. Will Jean Baptiste slows the ball down and he traveled. His coach is trying to get him to slow it down. He went a little too fast there. Crocker brings the ball up as Jean Baptiste went for the steal. Crocker banks in a layup in traffic. Now an eight point game. And Jean Baptiste to Cohen. And a double dribble of unforced error as the Sixers turn the ball over with 2-11. And Anthony Byers, feeling all right, will re-enter the game. And a timeout. Kings call timeout. They are down eight with just over two minutes to go in the second game of our Malden Neighborhood Basketball League triple header. The Sixers on defense right now. They have come all the way back here in the second half to take an eight point lead. They were leading by as many as 10. And they get a stop here after the Crocker miss as Byers has his pass knocked out of bounds. Solzano was there on defense. Under two minutes to play now. As Jean Baptiste gets the inbound. Sees a clear driving lane. He misses the layup. Bono try to dribble out. He loses the ball. Cohen's on top of it and a jump ball. As Jaden Brito White got tangled with Shai Cohen on that loose ball. Fifty-three to forty-five, an eight-point lead. As the Sixers are trying to close out a remarkable comeback, and off the jump ball, Cohen caught caught the jump ball. You're not allowed to touch the jump ball if you participate in it. And the Kings will get the ball. Solorzano lost it momentarily. Pump fake, rainbow shot, no good. And John Baptiste touched it last. It will stay King's ball. Brito White. And that pass deflected out of bounds again. Jaden Brito White and a whistle. A foul is going to be called on the Sixers' Shy Cohen with a minute 28 remaining in the fourth quarter. Jaden Brito White to the free throw line where he is three for six on the season. And that first free throw rattled out and back in. A big make for Brito White, who averages two points per game. And he nails the second as well. Two clutch free throws. And here goes Byers the other way. He takes it coast to coast off of a free throw make. And the Kings need to move quickly. Brito White to Crocker, a deep three. No, the three ball has not been working for Jason Crocker, who has hit 13 threes in his previous six games. And the Sixers get the ball to Byers. Byers 
with the right hand. No foul called. Sorzano the rebound. And he gets bumped. The Sixers bench not happy with the fouls being called as that one is assessed to Edgar Rios with 55.7 seconds to go. Sammy Solzano will be heading to the free throw line. A 50% free throw shooter on the season. He misses the first. And Solzano will split the pair right at his season average. Byers, Rios, turnaround three, no. Rebounded by the Kings. So Lozano for three, short. Rebounded by the Kings. Dominique Bono trying to create space. So Lozano chased off the three point line and a foul. 32.8 seconds left. And Edgar Rios. Edgar Rios just got called for his fifth foul. And Kevin Cruz. He will replace him in the game. And Solorzano, he misses the first. And after a couple bounces, he misses the second. And Will Jean-Baptiste. And the Kings are claiming that the Sixers have no timeouts left when they tried to call one. That would result in a technical foul. And they did have a timeout left and each, each team's bench having a lot to say to each other in the final seconds. There's still 26.5 seconds left on the clock, and the Sixers lead 55 to 48. And each team is trying to collect themselves right now as the Sixers are claiming that Jason Crocker is interfering in their huddle. A lot going on, needless to say. The Sixers did have a timeout left. They crossed the timeline and they will now inbound with a seven point lead. And in this league, it is not over until it is over. And Shai Cohen will inbound. And he'll find Byers. Byers back to Cohen, loose ball. Cruz, and he threw out of bounds. 18.8 .8 seconds now. And the Kings will roll that ball in. Crocker picks up the ball, he'll drive. Has that ball knocked away, I believe. Jasker Mendez used his head to knock that away, and now a foul. 10.4 seconds. And Will Jean-Baptiste will head to the free throw line as the Sixers are closing in on an incredible comeback. Jean Baptiste, a 41.2% shooter at the line, misses the one and one. The Kings rebound. 
Crocker the other way. A three the other way is good from Bono. And the final buzzer sounds, and that will do it. A massive comeback by the Sixers as they beat the Kings 55 to 51, a much needed win by the Sixers. Byers, Jean-Baptiste, they had this team playing hard in the second half. The coaches picked up the intensity level. Each sideline got a little chippy late in the game, but an incredible second half by the Sixers as they were able to come all the way back in the third quarter and hold on to lead in the fourth. The Kings were led well by Sammy Sonazano and also Crocker, but they weren't able to do enough in the second half. This one goes to the Sixers.